Okay, well, this is uh, Brian Tibbs's voice, and I'm with Andy. Say hi, Andy. Hi, guys. And uh, this is um, a special video that Andy made. Can you tell them a little bit about this video, Andy? So this Christmas, I got a very nice drone. Um, as you can see, this is the drone flying right now. Uh, it is controlled by an app on an iPad. So with the app, I control the drone... So how come we can't hear them talking? Because the drone does not have um, a speaker, and also because if it did have a speaker, it'd a microphone? Be or a microphone, the re if it did have a microphone, it'd be very loud. Okay, so how old are you right now? I'm 11. And how old is Megan? Nine. Megan's nine. How old is Jana? She's 14. And uh, Jill is uh, 40, and I'm 40, or 41, and I'm 43. I think. So, okay, so this is, what's the date on this video? Do you remember the date? Um, I don't remember. I think it was January 2nd or 3rd, yeah, 2020. Like okay, so and if you guys, if you guys are, are watching this video, you're watching it 10 years from now, so let's talk a little bit about what is popular right now. So what are some popular toys right now? Um, I would say, uh, well, popular toys... Uh, it's a hard. Well, um, what did you get for Christmas that you really like? Nerf guns. Um, uh, uh, Legos. Legos are very popular. Um, like what kind of Lego? What's the last Lego thing you got? And uh, the it? last thing, last Lego set I got was, uh, uh, it was a Lego Avengers uh, Titanium. Well, I don't know if it's a Titanium, but. A Lego Avengers robot that um, has a bunch of missiles. Okay, and Megan got a little robot called Cosmo, and Cosmo is this little uh, intelligent robot that I don't know if it does machine learning, but it it has a an artificial intelligence like personality that you play with it and you interact with it, and it's pretty smart for at least for the technology that we have now, right? Yes. Okay, so what kind of cars do people drive now that are really cool? Teslas. Teslas. Your Uncle Brad has a Tesla. Yeah. He's like the coolest guy on the street. <laughs> yeah. So Teslas. And what's so cool about Teslas? Uh, it, ha it is the first car that can drive itself. Oh, okay, yeah. And it's electric. And all that. Right? Electric. Okay. So where are we at in this house right here that we're filming? We are at, a, an, air, <clears throat> at an Airbnb. Uh, Airbnb. What's the, the address? I uh, don't know. It's 1098 North Gray Cloud. It's one of our uh -huh. townhouses, right? Uh -huh. Okay. And there's mom in the kitchen getting everything going. Okay, so now let's talk about what we think is going to happen in the future. Ten years from now, January of 2030, uh, what do you think uh, um, will be I our world? I think that there will be all automatic cars. Okay. I think that there Meaning will... self-driving? Yes, self-driving okay. cars. I think that there will be... Much better and more artificial intelligence. Okay. And I think people will be on Mars. You think there will be people on Mars by 2030? Living? Yes. Um, maybe. And and so when they go to Mars, do they come back or do they just stay there? Uh, it depends. It depends, huh? Okay, so I think, I also agree that cars, most cars will be fully autonomous driving. And that will mean that we no longer need large parking lots. And that will mean that traffic is much more efficient. And it doesn't mean that there won't be traffic, but the traffic will be more efficient. I think that um, uh, there won't, a lot of most people won't own their own cars because for the same price of owning a car, you can summon a car. And why would you need to own your own car? So that means there will be less garages, like houses, gar houses with garages. Mm -hmm. And so I think that there will be parking places where people go and park and charge their cars overnight. And then when you go to work, it just shows up, picks you up, and drives you to work. And when on your way to work, you do email or sleep or read a book or whatever because you don't have to drive. Right? I think that's true. Yeah. And freight. I think freight will all be in autonomous cars. There won't be truck drivers. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of people say that there's going to be a lot of people displaced by the automated economy, by the, di by the robot economy, and that there'll be all these workers out of work. Um, what do you think is going to happen with those guys? Um, well... I think they'll figure that out. I think they'll make more jobs, make other things that other people can do, like 
if they find some other type of energy source or ore or mineral or anything yeah. there might be more engineers for making the cars for programming yeah. them and stuff well our video is over but we could just keep talking yeah. and, and talk about stuff so i think also that uh well let's talk about like big companies right now well, the biggest company in the world is apple computer right <clears throat> it's worth 1.3 trillion dollars mm -hmm. that's kind of a big deal that there's a company worth over a trillion dollars I bet in 10 years that won't be so special. No. But then Amazon is worth $1.1 trillion. Mm -hmm. So it's a massive company, and everybody thinks that Amazon is going to take over the world. Yeah, they're just dominant right now. Everybody buys, most everybody who buys online buys from Amazon. So I'll be curious to see what happens in 10 years if there's major uh, competition. Also, cable TV is dying because subscription mm -hmm. services to streaming is because there's popular. Netflix, Disney Plus. Amazon Prime, um, what's the other one, the H thing? Uh, Hulu. Yeah, Hulu, uh, I don't remember any other ones. Yeah, um, uh, HBO Go. Yeah, that one. And there's all the, you know, all the big networks are making their own streaming services like CBS and NBC as well. YouTube. The YouTube, YouTube is big. Do you think YouTube will be big in 10 years? Um, I have to say, yeah, I think so. You think so? What about Facebook? No. So everybody has a Facebook account, but young people are not using Facebook as much. What about Instagram? Will Instagram be around? No. You don't think so? No, I don't. I barely even know what Instagram does. What about Twitter? <laughs> I think no. It's what, very small. What about TikTok? I have no idea. TikTok, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, <clears throat> where are we sitting right now? We are sitting at Grandma Marla's house. At six thousand Westview Drive. Do you think they'll still live here ten years from now? No. You don't think so? I think no. they live somewhere else. That's, yeah. that's possible. So where do we live right now? We live in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Brazil. And how long have we been there? Four months. Four months? That's not very long. Where are we going to go next? Uh, possibly Korea. Yeah, and, and where else? Uh, possibly England. And then where else? Possibly United States. Yeah, we just don't know. Don't know. And ten years from now, where will we be? United States. You think so? I think I will, I definitely. Well, you'll be 21, 21. years old, so you're going to move back to the U.S. when you have an opportunity? What oh, about, yeah. What about you, Megan? She doesn't know. I mean, maybe. She'll be 19. It depends. And Jana, do you think Jana will move back to the U.S.? 